In this theory, we have a universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that forms the spiral of life as time unfolds, photon by photon, or moment by moment. When the spherical symmetry is broken, it forms the imperfect spiral symmetry of life that is visible in nature. This is because if the quantum wave particle function or probability function is reformulated as a linear vector, then all the information I can find says that each new vector is formed by adding the two previous vectors together. This forms the Fibonacci sequence. In this theory, we have the Fibonacci numbers in nature, not because of economy of growth or space, but because time and space is being formed by the geometry and therefore the mathematics of this dynamic process. As can be seen on the diagram, we already have zero, representing the moment of now, time equals zero, with positive one and minus one representing the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. Therefore, we even have the start of the Fibonacci sequence in the diagram. This is linked to Euler's identity, giving this beautiful equation a place in the structure of space and time. It is madness to think that beauty could form out of chaos and disorder, but it is logical that such beauty could form with the disorder and chaos of everyday life out of a process of symmetry forming and breaking. In this theory, the fundamental nature of the universe is a process of symmetry forming and breaking, not just in space, but also in time, forming what we see and feel as the continuum of time, or flow of time. Time flows like a river, but what is flowing? In a new theory, it is the forward momentum of light that forms the forward flow of time. Because the universe is never at absolute zero, everything is radiating light waves of electromagnetic radiation continuously. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see this universal process. As photon energy cascades down, it forms greater degrees of freedom for the increase in disorganization or entropy. One of the main effects these photon oscillations or vibrations have on the individual is the aging process as time unfolds, photon by photon. But this process can also be seen as the living force or creative force that created the driving force for the evolution of life and the creativity that we see in art and poetry. This process is totally universal and interactive. From the largest object to the smallest creature will slow the rate that time flows, forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy, forming the future of its own evolutionary path. We have a universal process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. A candle flame in almost zero gravity even takes on the spherical geometry and characteristics of a living cell as can be seen from these images from the International Space Station. In almost zero gravity a candle flame forms a sphere that is interacting with the atmosphere on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. A candle flame also breathes oxygen just as animals do and takes in fuel from candle wax just as we take in food to create energy we need. Flames can also grow and if the fuel is available in various nearby locations move from place to place. They can even reproduce by spreading. Light also has momentum and momentum is frame dependent so we have a process that can form its own reference frame. Therefore each individual cell has its own reference frame for the independence that is needed for the diversity and evolution of life. This theory also explains the driving force and physical structure for the formation of the first cell life that is needed for Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. Life is the most advanced part of one universal process which is outside of nature and in the domain of physics. This can be seen not just in the nature of living things, but also in the structure of the physical universe, 
and in the universal nature of mathematics that represents the geometry of this process that forms the spiral of life as time unfolds photon by photon or moment by moment this process creates a blank canvas that we can interact with from the center of our own reference frame turning the possible into the actual conscious thought the continuous stream of ideas represents the most advanced part of this universal process and can therefore comprehend it as a past and uncertain future the probability can be seen mathematically in quantum mechanics as heisenberg's uncertainty principle representing the same uncertainty we have with any future event within our own reference frame thanks for watching please share rate and subscribe it will help the promotion of this theory